Welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar designed to provide you tips to jumpstart your FBLA PBL year. My name is Lisa Smothers and I serve as the Membership Director for FBLA PBL and I will be speaking throughout this session with FBLA National President Cole Simmons and PBL National President Donnie Iorio. Donnie will be serving as today's moderator when we get to our question and answer session. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We'll go over questions at the end of the presentation. Welcome back to an exciting new membership year and to the first in our series of Webinar Wednesdays. In order to promote FBLA PBL, it's important that you have a snapshot of Future Business Leaders of America Phi Beta Lambda. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar designed to provide you tips to jumpstart your FBLA PBL year. My name is Lisa Smothers. I serve as the Membership Director for FBLA PBL and I will be speaking throughout this session with FBLA National President Cole Simmons and PBL National President Donnie Iorio. Donnie will be serving as today's moderator when we get to our question and answer session. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We'll go over questions at the end of this presentation. Welcome back to an exciting new membership year and to the first in our series of Webinar Wednesdays. In order to promote FBLA PBL, it's important that you have a snapshot of our organization. We are a nonprofit educational association with a quarter of a million members preparing for careers in business, and business related fields. There are four divisions. The high school division is the largest with 203,000 members, while the middle level division has more than 20,000 members. PBL, the post-secondary division, has approximately 11,000 members and the professional division reaches over 3,000 members. FBLA PBL is recognized by several educational associations as well as the U.S. Department of Education. Today, we are pleased to have both the FBLA and the PBL national presidents who will be presenting brief updates about what, what each of their national teams are focusing on this year. We will begin with Cole, our FBLA president, and then Donnie, our PBL president, will follow. Cole? The national FBLA officer team is hard at work to ensure the success of the programs that we laid out in our program of work. The first of these is Super Sweeps, which is running right now and will end October 20th. So get started today. It focuses on membership recruitment. Chapters will be required to complete four tasks out of, and six out of ten optional tasks. And all chapters that complete Super Sweeps will be recognized on our social media pages and will receive a certificate at NFLC and ribbons at both NFLC and NLC. Another program is 7-Up. Any chapter that increases their local chapter's membership over last year's by 7 will receive ribbons at NLC and the top 7 states with the largest percentage of chapter involvement will be recognized on stage at NLC. A third program is the Community Service Awards or the CSAs. It's a program that recognizes members with extraordinary commitment to community service. It has four levels, Future, Business, Leader, and America, just like the Business Achievement Awards. Members can begin recording community service hours starting on August 1st, 2013. Future and Business Award winners will have a certificate available to print out, and Leader and America Award winners will be awarded pins at NLC. For more information about what the FBLA National Officer Team has been working on, be sure to tune in to the FBLA and PBL President's Addresses to the Nation next Wednesday. Thanks, Cole. Donnie, you're up next. Thanks, Ms. Smothers, uh, and thank you for having us. We're just so excited for some of the great things that we're going to be doing in PBL this year, and really we're focusing everything back to membership. So how are we going to increase membership, and how are we going to increase the value of the membership for our members? Um, so we're starting off with communication. We're going to continue having broadcasts from our officers on the YouTube page. We've heard positive reviews from both local chapters and state chapters about being able to follow the national officers and what we're doing 
through recorded broadcasts as well as live broadcasts. We're also launching the all-new boardroom. Now, it's almost done, but what it is will be the ultimate resource for officers of all levels to log on and get information regarding social media, uh, where their numbers are, toolkits, and we're really excited to be able to launch it uh, within the next couple of weeks, and it's going to be completely new. Uh, if you've been in the state officer boardroom before, we'll take some of, the, some of the great things from it and rework it in our new boardroom. We're also launching the power of one. And what that is is the ultimate charge from the national officers to you, the members. And what we're really working on is asking everyone to have one more member than you did last year. And it sounds small. Yeah, we can just get one more person than we did in the years before. If we increase every chapter increases one member, or even every chapter increases 1%, it's really going to help us get to our membership goal. And that's really exciting. Finally, we're going to be having a lot more communication with our virtual chapter members. So if you're familiar with the virtual chapter of Phi Beta Lambda, it allows students that do not have a PBL chapter at their school to be involved in our association. Well, what we want is to make sure that those virtual chapter members have the resources to be able to charter a chapter at their own university or college um, within a year. And it's not a mandatory, you have to charter a chapter, but we want to make sure that resources are available for them and that they know that they have support from us at the national level. So that's really exciting. And finally, be sure to follow us on social media, both FBLA and PBL officers. Keep up with social media by announcing new programs and events that are going on. And we'll see you next week for the Address to the Nation. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Cole and Donnie. I know it's going to be a great year. Again, both will be on hand also for the question and answer portion of this webinar. Let's talk a little bit about our mission statement, which is to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship through innovative leadership and career development programs. We do this through service projects that help both the school and the community, state and national projects and programs, and state leadership conference where students can network with their peers and business leaders from across the country, as well as co-curricular activities such as the stock market game and the virtual business challenge. Knowing and understanding our mission will help you sell the benefits of FBLA PBL to students, administrators, and the community. I'll now turn it over to Cole. Thank you, Ms. Mothers. Every year we send chapters a membership poster that advisors can display in their classroom or around campus. It follows the membership theme, which is excellence in action. There is also an online video for each division on the homepage of our website. This recruitment tool, at just over two minutes in length, was designed for advisors to play at the beginning of class. Students should pay dues right away so they can be submitted by October 20th, which is the first membership deadline. Remember, students do not receive membership benefits until dues are paid. The most important resource that any chapter has is its membership. Many local chapters form a recruitment committee that involves both new and returning members. Get the word out about FBLA PBL. Remember, people like visuals. Create a chapter display case and keep it up to date with pictures, articles, and awards. Design chapter t-shirts for all members to wear on the day of chapter meetings. Marketplace can make, custom, can make customer chapter t-shirts for your local chapter. Talk it up. Members who are enthusiastic about FBLA PBL will spark an interest in other prospective members. Now here's Donnie to talk about planning a recruitment campaign. We're having a few technical difficulties. Um, Donnie, could you repeat that? We can't hear you. Lisa and Cole, can you hear me now? We can. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> so recruitment is an ongoing process and builds diversity in the group, which makes for rich brainstorming sessions, unique projects, enlightened individual workloads. The members of FBLA PBL are the backbone of our organization. And to maintain this membership and to continue to expand, the local chapter officers must take responsibility 
to recruit members. Chapters that are successful in increasing membership numbers have found that the key to growth is planning and implementing a variety of different chapter activities, such as ice cream socials, business tours, and community service activities. Set a goal for your chapter. How many new members would you like to gain? What's realistic? It's always good to overshoot on your goals and set higher expectations next time. Next, make a game plan. Create a list of steps that will take in order to recruit your new members. What kind of people are you looking to attract? How will you advertise? What will you say when you have caught the attention of the new members? Don't forget about those who were members of your chapter last year. You should rely on them for help with recruiting and your future efforts. All right, Lisa, back to you. Thanks, Donnie. Active, long-term members are vital to your chapter's success. They are your source of leadership and serve as important role models for new members and can carry the torch on into next year. Get them involved in recruitment activities. Have them distribute brochures and, and I'm sorry, information packets about your chapter activities to potential members who visit your meetings. Tabling is among the most effective recruitment strategies. Members could take shifts at an informational table in high traffic areas at different sporting events in the student union or cafeteria or even at an activities fair. An effective table or booth is colorful, interactive, and informative. Try having candy at the table, showing a membership video, or displaying a chapter scrapbook. Members should attend local and state activities and events because that's where you really get the most out of your FBLA PBL experience. You also need to plan to meet on a regular basis. Really how often you meet will be up to, often up to your advisor and the members. With other school organizations and clubs competing for membership, it's important that FBLA PBL make a lasting impression on prospective new members. Publicity is critical in order to communicate to your students what FBLA PBL does, what it stands for, and the opportunities any person can experience as a member. Remember, food helps. Developing an agenda is extremely important to allow everyone to stay on track and focused on our mission. Have your officers discuss the different activities that the local chapter will participate in. Photocopy and hand out a recruitment brochure highlighting important events and important dates, not only on the state and national levels, but also on the local levels as well. If your officers utilize an agenda to stay organized and make the meetings informative and fun, you'll be well on your way to a successful year. Now here's Cole with some additional tips for your chapter. You have to remember, FBLA PBL members have grown up with technology, so use it to your advantage. When students sign up to become a member of your chapter, record their cell phone numbers and email addresses. Divide up the list among your local chapter officers so that they can text reminders to all members about meetings, projects, or activities. Have your members go through the various sections of the national website. There is a wealth of information on conferences, scholarships, programs, and activities. In addition, FBLA PBL has a Facebook page, a Twitter account, LinkedIn groups, and a national blog. FBLA PBL offer, offers several incentives to local chapters and members to help build membership. Members recruiting either five or ten new members are rewarded with a certificate of recognition through the Membership Madness and Membership Mania programs. Chapters are recognized with certificates of recognition for maintaining or increasing their membership totals from the previous year or signing up all students in one class for FBLA PBL. Please note, you may only receive 100% class participation for one class each year. April 1st is the deadline for these awards. Donnie, back to you. Our curriculum-related programs provide our members with unique opportunities to practice the skills and knowledge that they are learning inside the classroom. Let's focus on two programs that your local chapter can plan for. America Saves is a program that the Consumer Federation of America, or CFA, centered around America Saves Week, which is February 25th through March 3rd. It is a national effort aimed at teaching and motivating students to save money through financial action, making a commitment that they will spend less and that they will make and save the difference. CFA provides training to advisors and students, materials, 
resources, and many events are sponsored by business partners and even include cash awards. iSafe is a nonprofit foundation and worldwide leader in internet education. Offering online training for members and getting involved in service learning activities, they range from conducting student assemblies to speaking to parent groups. Information on these programs and all of our partners can be found on the, in the chapter management handbook or online under membership benefits. Our organization also encourages local chapters to promote our national celebrations. November 15th is recognized each year as American Enterprise Day and is set aside to salute and promote the American free enterprise system and to teach others about it. FBLA PBL week is the second week of February. During this time, chapters are encouraged to publicize their successes, boost their membership, and gear up for spring activities. Many chapters plan activities for each day of the week, and FBLA PBL week is held in tandem with CTE month. As FBLA PBL week coincides each year with the National Career and Technical Education Month, this is an excellent time to inform the public about school-to-work activities and our programs in general. Now, here's Lisa. Thanks, Donnie. One of the big things that you can do to get involved is really working with community service activities. As many, many schools and many states require graduation hours, our community service hours for graduation. Sponsor high visibility community service activities that will help generate publicity for your local chapter. Get involved with other organizations in your school and their activities or invite them to join yours. Ask for everyone's opinions on chapter events. Don't forget, people really work hard for what they are a part of building and really for what they believe in. FBLA PBL offers a program described in the recognition section of the Chapter Management Handbook called the Business Achievement Awards for FBLA, or BAA, and the Career and Membership Achievement Awards, CMAP, for PBL. Everything is online and interactive, and there's no paperwork. There's a heavy emphasis on education with integrated classroom projects. Each level builds upon the other, with the top level being recognized at the National Leadership Conference. Preview activities for each level are included online under the BAA or CMAP tabs on the national website. Remember, advisors must register students in the advisor area of the website before students can log on with a password. Here's Cole to update you on national conferences. FBLA PBL provides students with many different travel opportunities. The national level offers a leadership conference in the fall that is designed to jumpstart your FBLA PBL year. The conference is offered in three different locations. Grapevine, Texas from November 8th to the 9th, Cleveland, Ohio on November 15th and 16th, and Salt Lake City, Utah November 22nd and the 23rd. To register, go to our website at www.fbla-pbl.org and click on conferences. An NFLC promotional video that can be shown at a local chapter meeting is also located in this area of our website. The National Leadership Conference, NLC, concludes the year and sets the stage for the upcoming school year. The best and the brightest of FBLA and PBL convene to compete in leadership events, share their successes, and learn new ideas about shaping their career future through workshops and exhibits. Next year's NLC will be here before you know it, so make plans now to make sure that your chapter is in attendance. The dates will be PBL from June 24th to the 27th, and FBLA from June 29th to July 2nd. Now here's Donnie. All right, we've had a number of questions submitted since we first started our presentation, and we'll get started on those now. Just a reminder, if you'd still like to submit a question, you can do so by using the GoToWebinar toolbar and submitting a question. If we run out of time, we will email you individually to answer any of the questions that we are not able to. First off, our first question is from Susan from Arizona, wanting to know what your favorite chapter project is to get the year started. Cole? My favorite chapter project, we actually have a... Um, like a rush week that's more of a project for our chapter officers where Monday through Friday there's a different reward each day for members that join they get that day's reward 
So say Wednesday's reward is ice cream. If a member joins on that day, they'll get ice cream at lunch. It's more of a project for the officers, but it's one of the biggest things that increases our membership. Great. Um, I would say my favorite event, in order just to be able to get members, especially from coming from a large university, is to table. Um, being out on in the center of campus and then also being able to show off what FBLA PBL provides and then also making that link by um, referencing FBLA in the name as well makes members understand what our association is, especially if they were either in FBLA in high school or they've heard about it. So I'd say tabling is really effective for me. Um, the next question we have is Brad from, from Pennsylvania. And Brad would like to know how he can get signed up for the BAAs. So I'm assuming Brad is a student. Would we like to hand this over to Ms. Mothers? Sure. Um, the best way to get signed up for the BAA is to ask your advisor to sign you up first. And so what they do is they actually go into the advisor area, and there's a little tab that says BAA online. And so that what they'll do is register you, and I'm assuming that you haven't been um, in the BAA before, so they'll register you for the future level. Once they do that, they'll get an email that includes your password. Your login is going to be your chapter number, and then you'll put in the password. So once you get that on the national website, um, if you go under the FBLA tab at the, the top, you click on that, then you click on BAA, you'll see a place where you can register as a student. So you put in the login, again, the chapter number, and you'll put in the password service, and it'll take you right to that particular activity. So you'll work on that activity, and um, your teacher at any time has the option to check your work. The important thing to remember is that once you're done, you need to tell your advisor because they have to submit it in order for it to process and for you to get the PIN. And at the future and business levels, those PINs are sent to the local level. The other thing to remember is that once you finish that first level, your teacher is going to have to register you again, and you're going to have a different password for the next level, and you keep going through that. Um, there's four levels to that. The leader level is recognized at the state level, and the America level is recognized at the national level. The deadlines for the BAA for the first three, the future business and leader, is March 1st. And then for the America level, because some of it focuses on the second part of the year, and you have some time between um, March and really the national conference, it focuses on things like FBLA, PBL week, and go green, and things like that. So um, that's kind of the BAA in a nutshell. Great. Our next question is from Chris from Missouri, wanting to know if Chapters have to attend the NFLC, which is closest to them, or can they choose one that is in a location that they'd rather go to? Um, it's my understanding that you can go to any one that you would like to, but it's recommended for financial reasons that you go to the closest one. Um, is that correct? And I also check with your state, too, because oftentimes states travel together. Um, and as, even if it's not going to the closest one, sometimes states can get discounts and travel blocks. So um, we're going to throw it out there one more time. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to submit them using the question box in the GoToMeeting toolbar. Um, and we'll give it just one more minute. We don't have any more questions right yet. Otherwise, if you do think of a question between now Know that we are repeating this webinar for our folks on the West Coast or people that uh, it would be more convenient to watch at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So feel free to come and join us again. We'll be covering the same content. However, if you have a question, you can still submit it, and we will answer it at the end of the webinar. I'd like to thank everyone for coming and participating today. Thank you, Ms. Smothers, and thank you, Cole, as well, for being some of our panelists. Everyone, don't miss our next webinar for the National Fall Leadership Conferences, which is scheduled on Wednesday, October 2nd. This presentation, hosted by Mr. Richard Bowen, our conference director, will give you a sneak peek at the three upcoming NFLCs, which are going to be held in Grapevine, Texas, Cleveland, Ohio, and Salt